Are you hearing this, friends? Um, they are in this together, okay? Pope Francis is very warm and cozy, promoting, behind, supporting the United Religions Initiative. Okay, so uh, if you recall from my last video, um, One World Religion is here, uh, I pointed out an article that was from, it, it was called an interfaith report from COG Interfaith Report. And I, at first, I didn't know what it was. It was just talking about the affiliation between Pope Francis and the United uh, Religions Initiative. And I said, I wasn't sure what the site was. Uh, I thought, was that Church of God? I didn't know. But then I noticed at the end of the article that the writer was all for Pope Francis and, and just he was the greatest Christian. And isn't it interesting how the term Christian is the world now believes that it applies to Catholicism? It absolutely does not. It's, it is not a Christian uh, faith. Uh, it is a false doctrine. Um, however, um, when I researched that more, I thought I want to know what this website is, the COG Interfaith Report. So I clicked on the COG logo or About Us, and guess what I saw? Click. The Covenant of the Goddess is what COG stands for. This is an organization that is very involved. It's the largest witches coven, I think, in the world. I don't, I don't know, um, but you can research that. Um, very involved in the United Religions Initiative. And um, if you click on some of these things down here, you can see all of the, the you know, the pentagram, the satanic things. Real, I, I mean, I got chills when I clicked this and saw that this is who's in bed, no pun intended, <laughs> with the whore <laughs> of uh, the mystery Babylon um, and uh, this is really really bad folks but something that is maybe a little bit more exciting is are men becoming less manly I think you want to take a look at this I do think that men are less manly now than 20 years ago because I think 20 years ago the men were still opening the doors for women and they were in charge of the household I would say that I'm more manly now, but men are less manly now than they were 20 years ago. Of course men were more masculine 20 years ago. Just look at the way they dressed, the way they acted. I think what makes a man a good man is someone that knows how to say yes, dear. Yeah. Before we get into this debate, medical studies of both the U.S. and Europe do suggest that modern life is taking its toll on men. So we're seeing some biological changes. The average testosterone level, according to some studies, 22% lower from 1987 to 2004. Sperm count decreasing 1.5% annually. You're seeing more penile birth defects. I actually would say and argue that men are becoming less manly, not only physiologically, but I think socially as well. You know, we know more about how to operate a computer tablet mm -hmm. than how to fix a car. And generation ago, men fixed things. They did. There was. I, I really do. I feel like and it's more some of, how, of this masculinity. It's how our lost. society is going because it is going more towards computers and things that are less outdoors, so less you know requiring physical strength, and also because of the way that women are now starting to work more and you know out in the workforce, so men are starting to help it, help out at home with childcare and housework. I mean, I think that all sharing is great. Although there are some women that you know they still want their men to be a little rough and tough, you know, they still want to grab them by the hair and throw them down, you know, a little that. Well, no, and that's, I think this is, there's a takeaway here. I love that you said that because I do think that we need to, as men, try to, to, to some extent, hold on to the roots of manliness because like you said, there's something. And be something... more role models. You had a great yes. role. More men need to be involved with their kids and be the role models. I think that's and, really and important. And another, another thing that's really important to bring up here, we don't know why testosterone levels are dropping. It could be environmental all the chemicals around us, pollution. If there's something out there in the environment causing us men to, to have lowered testosterone levels, then we got to figure out what it is. Because, I mean, you like men. I like men. I men, want right? men around. That's right. Somebody's got to take the garbage out. <laughs>
sort of am a girl. I like girl stuff. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And the Lord God took the man, and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him an help meet for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh.
of methamphetamines and killing Could we go there instead? Yeah, yeah Satan is a woman And she knows 